Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you saw that chicken and sausage gumbo in the video of how to season a black iron pot, I'm going to show you how I did it. First, you get a beautiful Miss Cajun Ninja to make a roux. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If there's one thing this lady can do, she can stir the pot. You know what I'm saying? Get your pot. Hit it up. Yes, indeed. So the first thing I like to do is add a little bit of cooking oil to my pot. I added a little too much here, but I wipe it down anyway, no matter how much I add, because I want to spread it out evenly. Next, I throw in my smoked sausage. Here I have four pounds of regular smoked sausage and one pound of andouille. Just listen to that sizzle. So I just get this moving around and begin to brown it up nice and slowly. Just a little bit of toss here and there. Miss Cajun Ninja is still making that roux. Look at this beautiful chocolate color right here. Man, it looks like a cake mix, a brownie mix or something. She's crushing it. That's a roux. <laughs> I got my buddy Shane stirring the pot now. He's an Alabama fan, so I got him earning his Cajun card today. He had to do work. Doing a good job, taking his time, like driving a new car. At this point, the sausage was browned up nice, so we went ahead and removed it. That way we could use the grease at the bottom to brown up our vegetables. At this point I add in the Holy Trinity. What you have here is six yellow onions, three green bell peppers, and a half of a stalk of celery. I told Shane to let it sit for about a minute and then stir it around. As you can see, by doing that, these vegetables start to sweat and really pull up all that goodness from the bottom. Great stuff right there. Over time, Shane got better, man. His Cajun card really started to come out. As the color of these onions came out, Shane's Cajun card came out. Because at this point, he was one-handed with beer in hand. Just like a true Cajun boy. <laughs> so after browning down for about 20 minutes, we add garlic. What I got here is probably about a half a cup of garlic. Minced garlic. I then went ahead and added some salt here. Just a little sprinkle for some flavor. But not much because I added one-fourth cup of paya seasoning. Then I added a tablespoon of garlic powder. And we got that stirred around. Just get these vegetables nice and flavored up. Looking beautiful, man. Look at that color. At this point right here, we were ready to add the stock in. Earlier, I deboned five rotisserie chickens, took those remains, threw it into a pot with seven and a half containers of 32 ounce chicken stock. I also added the ends of my onions I cut, celery, carrot, the ends of the green onions, Makes for a really good stock. So I'm just gonna add a little bit here. I wanna break up some of this bottom, stir it around, and just incorporate a little bit of stock at a time. Next, I'm gonna add that beautiful roux that my wife made. Look at this, man. Yeah, she does such a good job making roux. So we go ahead and slowly stir that in. It's gonna thicken up. As it starts to thicken up, that's when we can add some more stock. So we add a little bit more, and then we stir it around once again. We're just getting that roux incorporated with the stock so it blends evenly. Once again, a little bit of stock and a little bit of stirring. Come on, Russia. This is really fun right here. I'm telling you, you got to do this one day in your life. I'm now going ahead and adding all the stock in because enough of it has incorporated with the roux to where it's blended evenly. Then next, I'm going to add the sausage back in there. And then three bunches of chopped up green onion. I then add about a half a gallon of water. This helps with the balancing of all the flavors in there. Once I've got my water in there, I'm gonna go ahead and raise my heat. I wanna bring this to a slight boil. Fire it up right there. At this point, I add about 15 bay leaves. Stir it in. Now look, you don't wanna bring this thing to a full boil. Once it's kinda slightly coming up, you cover it and then lower it to a simmering heat. Cast iron can boil over very quickly, so be cautious. After about two hours of simmering, that's when we add that rotisserie chicken I told you about earlier. Nobody can tell me nothing about this right here. This is fresh, beautiful chicken that was cooked literally the day I got it. Look at that, deboned it. It's amazing, you throw it in right at the end. Cause this chicken's cooked, it's ready to go. You just throw it in and give it a good stir around and you are good to go. Look at that right there, a beautiful chicken and sausage gumbo. Now look, if you want some okra, filet, what have you, you do you. All right? At this point, everybody was getting their desired amount of juice. Everybody got a different preference, and I'm okay with that. Same way as making your food. 
Go ahead, Dennis, get you some. <laughs> this is my bowl right here. I get good scoops of meat, and then I get that juice. And that's it. We throw it down. Y'all enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Hiya! If you want to make a gumbo like this on a smaller scale, just get my cookbook over at CajunNinjaBook.com. Good.